Hey, what's going on YouTube? Uh, Lionel here, and I have a um, a quick first impressions video. So uh, here we go. Um, I received these today, so I want to give a shout out to you, uh, Kerosene, um, for sending these samples. Um, it uh, it is his latest release. Um, both uh, whips and I'm sorry I got it called uh, whips and roses which is here and then um, I think I'm pronouncing this right Santelium uh, silver which is which is here so I've had them both on my hand for a while now let me give you my impressions um, the, the opening of um, silver is uh, terrific I really, really, I really, really enjoy the opening. Uh, blast of a uh, grapefruit, and um, I initially get uh, grapefruit and uh, some vetiver, you know, something like that, some citrus, something very sharp uh, in the opening, and then um, slowly but surely, um, the the it, it, it the grapefruit. So the grapefruit stays around. So I, I think I've had this on for about. About an hour and 15 minutes or so uh, the grapefruit is there or that, that bright citrus whatever it is and maybe a, a nutty sort of sharp vetiver almost like um, it kind of reminds me of the vetiver that was in sycamore um, so it sort of has that appeal um, sharp and a little sweet and then um, as it as it dries down which is like I said I've had it for about an hour and 15 minutes uh, the sandalwood creeps in it kind of gives it this creamy sandalwood um, I do really love the opening of this one. Um, I really enjoy uh, the opening, uh, but I am not a Sandalwood fan. So, um, since like Santel 33 and other scents, just really, really, um, I, I just have no appetite for them, no nose for them. So, um, I will tell you now that Santelium uh, Silver uh, is a pass for me. Uh, it is a well made scent, a well constructed scent, but would never be in my collection. Um, now, rips and rips and roses. Um, uh, kerosene actually said that uh, it opens a uh, very feminine, uh, but to me it didn't. Uh, it, was, it was short of a sharp uh, citrus, maybe bergamot, with a very sharp rose in the opening. Then this bergamot sort of burns off, and then this rose just becomes lush. I mean. Just, just a very lush, lush rose. Um, very deep, very lush, very green. Um, just a lovely rose. Delicious rose. Um, and then um, the leather starts to creep in. And the rose actually becomes, or there's something in there that, that actually remains fairly sharp. Uh, and, and the leather's there, and this, I guess it's this green, lush rose. Uh, and they're just, I mean, they're 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 at each other. Um, both of them are, are are there, very very prominent. And then this musk comes along, and I think that may be providing some of it, some of that sharp, some of that sharpness, some of that, yeah, some of that sharpness. Sort of like the the musk you get in a creed, like a a, a, a silver mountain water almost, that kind of musk. Uh, but it's funny what this reminds me of, and I haven't seen anybody say anything. When I first smelled Aventus, it was a the, my first my very first batch of Aventus that I had was a leathery, leathery, smoky rose scent um, with with musk, and 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 this is very similar to that. You know, it doesn't have the fruit, doesn't have the pineapple, uh, the rose, and this is much more prominent. But it still exists. It still sort of has this leathery rosy musky scent um and this is definitely a plus for me um i absolutely love whips and roses um um and now my two favorite uh, uh notes uh, in the fragrance is amber and rose copper skies is an absolutely love for me and whips and roses is just as much as a ro uh, love for me now if someone asked me um, what do I think compared to um, Rose 31, which is better? I mean, I would. I have, they're, they're different. 
Rose 31 is more of a um, an airbrush rose and it's more of a woodsy vetiver scent uh, with strokes of rose kind of painted over it. It's kind of like rose plated. This is Whips and Rose is a rose scent uh, with leather and musk. But I mean, you the the the, the rose that, that I mean, I'm I'm about an hour and a half into it, and the rose hasn't even remotely subsided. Um, the leather's not dominating on my skin. The rose is still there, very prominent, um, and there's a sharp musk and a a very nice leather. Um, not a if you're turned off by leather, I don't think you'd be turned off by this one. It's not uh, animalic. It's it's not animalistic. Um, it's more of a le like I think a, a leather jacket like fresh out of like you work at, you walked into um um what's that leather coat store that used to be around back in the day but anyway something like that it's, it's it's a nice wearable leather not an animal leather and the rose is sharp and green and then there's musk um i really love whips and roses um a lot uh it is bottle worthy for me Santalium uh silver is an absolute pass for me so um you know, I'll flirt with this sample for a little while, but it, I'll probably be done after that. So those are my first impressions um, of um, Whips and Roses and Santelum, uh, Santelum Silver. Um, Whips and Roses, I give it about a four and a half uh, out of five. Santelum, well composed. I won't rate it um, just because I'm not particularly a Sandalwood fan. So um, that's it. That's my perspective. I appreciate it. Peace.